the neck behind him in second place, and it's Sayo Zinka won the current eclipse. What a tremendous performance, a really marvellous performance by the Derby winner, Mill Reed. Running up towards the line, Alamanamo it is, as the most, Alamanamo wins the eclipse coach. Opera House is going to lift the tour and eclipse, this hill rallies close home, Opera House of this hill, and so to Opera House of this hill. Back close home is Smoke Contest, and Hawkwick wins the eclipse. As a racing fan growing up in Sussex in the mid-1980s, one horse stood out above all others. Dancing Brave, trained local to me, locally to me at Pulborough by Guy Harwood, started his three-year-old career with a victory in the Craven Stakes, and he then came back to Newmarket's Rowley Mile to win the 2000 Guineas, beating, amongst others, the great Green Desert. On the back of that win, he was made favourite for the Derby. But in what remains one of the most talked about Epsom rides still to this day, Greville Starkey and Dancing Brave just failed to catch Sharastrani by half a length. From there, it was on to Sandown to take on the older generation in the Coral Eclipse and putting those Epsom doubts behind him. He beat four lengths. He won by four lengths, beating Teleprompter and Mighty Triptych, who finished second that day. From there, they went on to Ascot and the King George again, putting it all to doubt. He beat Sharastani, amongst others, that day. And then after a racecourse gallop in the select stakes at Goodwood, he went on to Paris and his final start in Europe, where he proved beyond all doubt what a champion he was in one of the most thrilling and dramatic art wins ever. Who'd have thought that years later I would go on to work for Coral and be involved in the Coral Eclipse myself? Because it was Dancing Brave, as I say, back in 1986 that really got me hooked. Grand Harbour the leader from Come on the Blue second. Bedtime gets the split between these. Dancing Brave with a pink cap moves up and travels very well. Triptyke on the right of the picture. Bold arrangement behind these as Grand Harbour gives way. Come on the Blues gives way and Bedtime goes on from Triptyke. Here comes Triptyke on the outside and Dancing Brave has to switch. It's Triptyke who goes home from Dancing Brave. Two furlongs to go in the Coral Eclipse and it's Triptyke Dancing Brave. Bedtime teleprompter. Bold arrangement by Aedes and now Dancing Brave in a matter of strides goes on from Triptyke. It's Dancing Brave from Triptyke. This is a class performance of far on to go. And Dancing Brave really lengthening and striding away. Five, six lengths clear of Triptyke in second place. Tony Proctor passes for second. No doubt about the winner. A quality call in fluid action. Dancing Brave, an impressive winner. Triptyke Great memories of another wonderful coral eclipse, but which is your favourite eclipse memory? From Mill Reef through the mighty Brigadier Gerard to the Super Philly Pebbles and Toto Dancing Brave or possibly Pilsudski. The mighty tough giants causeway, the brilliant Falbrab, the peerless see the stars or last year's hero, so you think. Which is your favourite eclipse? Vote now at sandown.co.uk forward slash coral dash eclipse dash races and the best entry will win four premier badges a vip parade ring visit before the big race a wonderful experience in prospect for the winner of our fabulous coral eclipse competition